A historic victory for the French left. For the first time in history, it commands a majority in the Senate. It's also a fresh blow for French President Nicolas Sarkozy, only seven months ahead of a presidential vote in which he is seeking re-election. The left has won this September 25th. It has won the senatorial elections. That's very humbling for the right. The Socialist Party, Communists and the Green Party will together control the upper house. That means they can hurt Sarkozy, for example, by slowing down government-sponsored legislation, a useful tool in an election year. It's a serious, even a devastating defeat for Nicolas Sarkozy. As president, he has lost every single intermediate election. How direct a bearing the Senate vote has on next April's presidential poll remains to be seen, and that is, predictably, the line of defense for the center-right parties. Our real targets are next year's presidential and legislative elections. That's when the entire French electorate will be called on to vote. But the defeat is still an ill omen for Sarkozy, whose party is already nervous about his low poll ratings and the ongoing economic and financial crisis.